Hi friends, welcome to Elvis's Macaw channel. It's good to see you. So we are on morning five after Elvis adoption and I just wanted to kind of give you a run around of what's been going on and the new approach that we've taken with Elvis after his attack on my husband. So um, I don't mean to, to laugh about it because it's not really funny that I let that happen and I do feel really bad that I let that happen. Um, and we're doing everything we can to keep that from happening again because that meant that we weren't respecting Elvis's space. And my fiance and I have both gotten nipped at a few times and we decided to just take a whole different hands-off approach with Elvis as far as just letting me build my bond with him for the first few weeks and letting my daughter and my fiance just stay out of his space, you know? They're still in the house. Elvis's body language still changes dramatically when John comes in the house. Um, but John's no longer getting in his space or trying to give him food or anything. He's just giving him the cold shoulder, which actually makes Elvis a little more interested in him and what he's doing. So I think that's working. As far as Elvis and I, I do notice that we are making big strides every day so I think we're we're on a good path he's eating well he's sleeping well he's in a fairly decent mood um, you can tell when he does not want to interact and with anybody or when he just doesn't want new people around my mom came here this morning to get her hair done and I was so excited for her to get to see her new grandbaby but Elvis wanted nothing to do with my mom even though she's female we came in and sat right here and he was back here on his perch and he was just pacing and pacing and pacing. He didn't want me showing her attention and affection right in front of him. It made him upset. So instead of leaving him out here while we did the hair, I went ahead and took him back to his room and took his morning chop back to his room and let him go ahead and eat it back there. And he's been fairly quiet. He's he talks a lot more when no one's in the room because he wants me to come back. He, I have a baby monitor on all the time, so even when he talks quietly, I can hear him talking when I'm out here doing stuff. So he'll start talking a lot when he wants me to come back and interact with him, and I usually do as soon as I hear him start, start calling for me. And he'll say, hey, come here, hey, come here. And he also does that. He's been stepping up for me a few times a day. If he isn't willing to step up for me, I offer him a travel perch. And if he wants to leave his room, he'll get on the travel perch and he'll say, come here. And he wants to go. So if he doesn't trust my arm in the moment, he's typically pretty receptive of a travel perch. So instead of forcing Elvis to step up, which is what I had to do in the beginning and even at the rescue the first time I held him, they were picking him up from behind so and they were doing that because it's hard for a bird to reach behind its tail to bite you it takes a little bit longer than if you're offering right in front but my issue with this is they did things however they had to do things to handle all this and I don't have an, an issue with them personally it's just my issue with this is that that's invading his space and although I don't want him to bully me and call all the shots I do, in a way, you know, McCall bites hurt. I shouldn't be getting bit. If I wasn't in his space or making him uncomfortable, I wouldn't be getting bit. So I decided to take a different approach to him and I let him initiate contact and touching. Um, he has to invite me into his bubble for me to go in his bubble and I haven't got bit yet since I started doing it that way. If he offers, forward one of his his feet and he'll say come here then he wants that interaction so the chances of me getting bit are slim to none so I've just taken a different approach with him in the last few days and I'm really impressed with how it's, it's working he trusts me more and um, he allows me in his space even when he's down on the floor, which he's a little bit floor aggressive. I feel like uh, when he's down on the floor, he's almost more apt to 
come towards you with ill intentions. Um, and I don't know if that's because you're, we're so much bigger than them. When they're on the floor, we look like giants. So I wouldn't put it past them to come over and bite someone if they were, you know, in his space and he was down on the floor because it's scary for him. But he's been letting me inside his space. Yesterday we were cleaning out the cage and moving some stuff around in there and it was just him and I and he was letting me clear in his space. He was letting me reach in his cage. We have to this day not shut his cage door and we're on day five. He has that whole room back there. Uh, I'm not gonna shut the cage door. It's it's a small cage. I want it to be like his box, you know, his safe place, but he's never gonna be locked in there unless it's necessary for his safety or someone else's. Um, so I haven't locked that cage door yet. I just, I don't wanna go there yet. I don't want him to feel stuck. And last night he was on, I was watching him in the baby monitor and there's one little door on the side of his cage and he was, up to it and he kept saying open open and he was trying to figure out how to get it open so I came in and I opened it for him and then he wanted to play peekaboo through the hole in the cage you know he was hello it was it was really cute um so we're interacting well and I'm still hesitant he's still intimidating his beak has a force pressure of like five to seven hundred pounds of pressure in these bites so you know that's a little bit intimidating and although I already know he knows he's intimidating I'm not trying to feed into it but I want to be careful I want to respect his space I don't want to have to fix aggression if I'm respecting his space he does not get aggressive point blank period he might get hormonal he might be in a bad mood but as far as aggressive he's not He's not, even when he's being a little asshole, he's not aggressive if you're not in his bubble. So, my approach has just become to respect him as a bird. And I am letting him call the shots right now. And some people may not agree with that, but he's in my home and I'm the one that's gonna get bit. Or my daughter, or my fiance, or my nephew, you know, so. I don't want that to happen so I changed my approach and I will definitely be updating y'all down the road to see how that approach goes and how our trust is developed with a hands-off approach and how I can transition onto more of a hands-on approach with Elvis as time goes by thanks for listening
How'd you get up there? So if you like Elvis's videos and you'd like to continue keeping up with his story, please like and subscribe below. Thank you.